Hey, welcome to Pop Culture Pop Collectibles. I'm your host Anthony Thomas and welcome to another What's in the Box. I got some pretty good stuff here that I bought on eBay and um, the one package below um, I bid I was bidding on similar packages to this particular item or these particular books and um, I got outbid it twice. I got outbid it twice and I got lucky enough that I looked at I said well I got outbid it on those particular uh, books and I wanted I wanted that series because I'm a big fan of this series and I'll share it with you in one second and so I you know did some research on eBay and uh, I found a complete series of the books and I don't know if it's totally complete, but I know it's, you know, the, the run basically is, you know, 1 to 13. And so I ended up buying that, and I didn't have to worry about bidding on it. Because when I was bidding, I mean, I, I think the bid got up to the first one, it got up to like 30 something dollars, 35 and plus shipping. And then the other one that got up to like 20 something. And it, it wasn't the fact that I didn't have the money. The fact is, I was, you know, I was uh, bidding on time, and I remember the one bid, the one guy came in, or the lady came in, and at the last second, because I said, well, I put in my, uh, I think I put in, let's say, for example, I put in $21, then at the last second, that person came in and put in twenty one fifty. boom, I was, oh man, <laughs> twenty one fifty, and that shit, and, um, well, I, now one thing I learned is that you can put in a max bid. You know, I could put in, let's say I put in $21, and then that person comes in at the last second and put in twenty, twenty-one fifty. My thing is, is eBay quick enough? Let's say if I put in twenty-five, is e eBay quick enough to adjust that above that? I don't know. I don't know. But I learned my lesson on not on this particular because I went and bought this one here. I just went and bought it outright. You know, I did research and, and on eBay and found it and bought it outright. So, but I I tested on another uh, um, item that I wanted, which I haven't got in yet, and I put a max bid on it, and I won that one. So. But what I want to share with what I have today in what's in the box is this particular uh, uh, product already had. And th I'm a fan of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I like Star Trek in the next generation. I like Star Trek. Um, I like the first Star Trek with uh, uh, Captain Kirk. But I really like Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Um, and also like uh, I'm not a uh, Enterprise. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of. And Star Trek Voyager. Uh, well, to be honest, I haven't really watched Enterprise. I haven't watched um, all of Star Trek Voyager. Um, but I do like Star Trek Discovery. I do like that one. Uh, and I like the new technology they had on that that series there. So um, and but. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, believe it or not, I'm, I, I'm, I have watched that series four times, and I'm on the fourth time now. I'm, well, I'm on the fourth time now of watching the whole series. I mean, you know, and it's, it's, it's seven seven seasons, and I think it's seven seasons, 24 episodes each. So, this first thing I want to show you is about this here a while back and this is a Star Trek um, I noticed that this is you know this is not part of what's in the box but I just wanted to show it because it's it is kind of part of what's in the box <laughs> but it, it's not I didn't buy it I bought this I did well I did buy it I bought it a, a while back but you know what I'm saying um, Star Trek uh, DC is nine we got Benjamin Sisko Commander Benjamin Sisko from the hit TV show Star Trek Deep Space Nine. You know they thought Deep Space uh, Deep Space Nine was going to be a flop. They thought it wasn't it wasn't going to pan out the way it did. 
and it it panned out. You know, people gravitated, and I was one of them. You know, um, this particular um, I want to say action figure was it's you know I'm never gonna take it out the uh, container. You know, I'm not gonna take it out the box. I'm not you know I'm not gonna open it up. It's just collector piece. You know, and you know I like. Benjamin Sisko, he is my one of my favorite captains on the series, um, in the Star Trek series. And then it's you know Picard, it's, it's next, then Captain Kirk. Um, but here you know you have um, he has you know you know tools over there. He has weapons, weapons obviously, and this card there. Um, and I just wanted to show that because that's. That hangs on my wall. This particular um, action figure. Let's just call it as seen in the episode crossover. And next, I have a uh, Star Trek D Space Nine special at the edge of the final frontier. This is a um, number one. It's a 48 page special. Five complete stories. And I bought that. That actually came in um, a book lot that I bought. There was other books with that, and I bought that. I bought that lot because of this book. And I show you how much I remember the books. I think it was, some, I think it was some X Men mixed in that or something. I think it was. But I bought that a while back. So. I haven't I haven't even read this yet, but I will. Now, let's get on to what's in the box. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let me cut my phone down with that beeping. We got what's in the box, and I already got it open. Only thing I don't really truly have open is these two packages of payment in there. And I'm gonna keep this box here. It's a good shipping box. I do ship uh, books and all that. And I, and I got this one partially open. Here's seven through seven to thirteen here, and and uh, this is cool here. They got they showing uh, Kira on the front cover and some guys in some battle suits. That one. I don't know who the artist is, but they show on their Mark A. What? Yeah, Mark A. Ultima. Oh, on this one here, they got Mike W. Barr, Rob Davidson, and Terry, Terry Pallet. And on this one here, they have Scott Reed, Gordon Purcell, and Mark A. Ultima. On this one. That's number eight. And I got Mark E. Ultimate on this one. And as well as Gordon Purcell and Scott Reed and Larry Witch on this one. And we 
got I don't remember this well. Oh, I, I get I get it. Probably could figure this out. She's kneeling down and then you have these beings that are floating. Either that's supposed to be her and the guy she was with. Matter of fact that is because you got Odo back here and he's looking sad. And you got her kneeling down here and then she that I'm assuming it's supposed to be her and the one minister that she was dating on the show. And then you have the you know why the Deep Space Nine is next to that, the portal. And up next we have number eleven. This is like this is in uh In the bar. And we have. See, can you see that? Let me look. Uh, I have to move the light. Because, uh. Then we have number 12. I'm enjoy reading these. Hopefully they are. Uh, and then we got this one here, number 13. Oh, they look like he's in the fight with Dax, the captain, Kira, the scientist, and this one here. Yeah, let me open this one here. This is the next one I'm going to open here. showing them they're starting out the book oh, I like this one here they have the four crew when I do a, a comic book review on these here I'm going to read them and make sure you know what the story is because I don't know if I don't know if these are based on the actual TV show, if they if they, if or are these just simple episodes that are not even related to the TV show. If it is, if it isn't, that doesn't matter. But we got number one here, which I think is a cool cover. If I bring the book up like that, it gets blurry. So, get that shadow back there. And number two, Odo, Kira, and 
the Captain Benjamin Sisko on the front cover. I'll just have to put these books in some new backing boards and plastic. And number three, I like that. And the artwork is, you know, has a cartoonish effect. It's not no, no realistic, you know. I mean, they do get the likeness down. And number five. So the whole, I mean, I got one through 13, so I don't know if that's, I have to look that up, is that the full complete series? which I probably doubt and Malibu Comics is the uh, publishing company not DC or Marvel and number six and these came out let me look and see when did it, they come out let me put that back up let me see when did they come out <clears throat> this uh Let's pop one of them open. I'm, I'm opening number one. Number one. Came out in 1993. Oh, wow. Came out a long time ago. So this probably came out just oh, when the show came out. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I'm about to read this. I'm gonna have to read this. I got, I got a pin up in here and everything. No, oh, I can't. That's a pin up there. And this is the number one. I like that. And one thing about the pin up is it's not attached to the story. The pin up is not. So. And you can also order a mini comic. Well, you used to, huh? I don't know about now. And this is, eh, has some cool advertising in here. Heroes Magazine was advertising here, as well as some other stuff. Oh, man. I remember those days of superhero drawing. Malibu, Universe X comic. Universe X. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for the day on um, what's in the box. Let me do a recap. Let me show you a recap just in case you're a Star Trek fan. Just like me. And definitely need some, need some new bags on these sucks. see that got a card in the back of this one here this is uh so this must have been bagged 
It was in a bag. Hmm. It just comes with a Commando Cisco card in the back. This is number two. Issue number two. And it has a you know a bag that the comic was in with a card. Hmm. Number three doesn't have that. That's, I didn't even know, realize that. Yeah. Number three. Number four. Just double checking. Number five. And a number six. And let's look at these here. Look at these right here. Okay, we got number and number seven. Checking the pack, make sure. <laughs> and number 10. Oh, that's a cool cover. And number, that's number 11. Number 12. And number 13. And also, and and the special that I got, Deep Space Special. Got to read that. Got to read this whole series. And I'm gonna do a comic book review on these as well. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a story, you know, a comic book review, or maybe uh, maybe do some reading on those. I don't know. And also my action figure. I got to have that. Let's turn that bad boy like that. Yeah. And Benjamin Cisco. Cisco. And what is what's on the back? What's on the back? What's on the back? We have other uh, characters on there you can collect. Dr. Beverly Crusher. That's Star Trek Next Generation. On Deep Space Nine, you had the Grand Nubis that you could collect. Uh, collect. Uh, Vosh, I don't know who Vosh is. Odo from Necessary Evil. Ah, that's a different Odo. And uh, uh, the Hunter of uh, Tus, Lieutenant Jadil, Jad, uh, Jadil, Jadil, Jadil Zax. And you got classic Star Trek. You can collect Nurse Christina Chapel and obviously, you know, uh, Christopher Pike and Lieutenant Janice Rangi. Why do you got Captain Kurt on there? That don't make no sense. And um, on the deep uh, Star Trek. Next generation, the action figures. This is what I'm reading here. The action figures you can collect is uh, Dr. Beverly Crusher, uh, Jordan, The Forge, Captain McCarr, um, Worf, Interstellar Action Borg, The Traveler, uh, Dr. Catherine, uh, Governor, Governor Wharf, and you got Captain Picard from Tapestry, I guess that's from uh, Captain Picard from a different dimension, I'm assuming, Interstellar Action, or in the Forge, as well as uh, the Beverly Crusher again, and Dina Troy, uh, Diana Troy, that don't make no sense though, they ain't got, um, you don't have Captain McCord on here on the classic Star Trek. 
How many? You, know, you got the captain here, captain. Well, they got captain is Christopher Pike. But on the clap. I don't know. I mean, that don't make sense. But anyway, with that being said, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch the what's in the box with uh, Coach Pop Collectibles, and don't forget to hit that subscribe uh, button, bell icon, and also let me know if you like these or not. And let me know if there's more uh, Deep, Deep Space Nine comics out there that I don't have that I would like to get. Because I like to get the whole series if I can. And um, these here I'll keep in my uh, personal collection. These will not be for resale. Not for resale at all. Uh, these will be uh, put in new bags and boards as well, and then put in, once I read them, enjoy them. And uh, I may do a, st you know, like I said, I'm gonna do a comic book review on them, and then I'm gonna also do a, 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 maybe a storytelling on that. I don't know. My wife pushing me to do storytelling, but who knows? So with that being said, everybody have a great day and be safe.